All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Feed the Beast Endeavor. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing very well. We're doing something a little bit different with the microphone today. I actually have a compressor built in through OBS, so we're going to see if we like this anymore, if it sounds any better. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys think that this is an improvement for audio. If not, we'll just go ahead and get rid of it on the next episode. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, this is our problem, our base. We have completely run out of storage. I've had to put storage in the floor and as you can see we've only got a little bit of a barrel left and we got quite a bit of diamonds too check it out did a bunch of mining off camera <laughs> did a little bit of mining off camera and uh yeah so we have quite a bit of stuff if you guys didn't see last episode we made the flux bore which allowed us to get a heck ton of ores down in our little mine there and i've also been exploring a bit you know grabbing some saplings for some really cool uh wood that i've found uh, i'm a huge fan of how this uh cypress looks next to the birch that we get from the Palo Verde logs. I think these two look really, really cool next to each other. Um, kind of like a good variant, if you if you know what I mean. So we're going to be working on a base today, and I think it's very, very, very much needed. Uh, but I'm also going to go ahead and make a diamond paxel with you guys on camera real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and make that diamond paxel here. It just requires a, a, an axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel. Super duper easy to make. All right, so all we need to do is make the pickaxe, the axe, then the shovel, then put them all together, and what do you get? A paxel. Perfect. So these will replace, I think, everything but the sword in our inventory, which is amazing. We can also go ahead and enchant this guy, um, but we don't have a lot of books, so we're not going to be doing that as of yet. Uh, we need to build the base. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is we do need to smelt up a little bit of the iron. We need to go ahead and let's see. We don't have the ore uh, processing setup, so we're only going to smelt up eight ingots here. Um, actually, we're not going to smelt up any ingots. I forgot. Oh, shoot. We got one. We need to smelt up the gold, which is perfect. We have two of them. Or, I mean, 16 of them to make two chests. So we're going to be making the iron. Uh, I think it's from iron chests. We're going to make iron, gold, and then diamond chests. And that is what we're going to be doing. So let me grab the materials for that. We're going to use the acacia wood real quick. All right. And with that, we do have quite a bit of the materials that we need. We also need to kind of grab some sand here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and smelt up a stack real quick. So what we need to go ahead and do here is convert these chests into iron chests. Looks like we're making a little bit more. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because in order to build our new and improved base, we need to get everything out of here. We need to kind of clear everything out and get it all into like one or two chests. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And the cool thing is, is these chests that we're making are ginormous in size uh, for what they can hold so we're going to go ahead and just you know move everything into them kind of move it over to the side and then we'll uh we'll clear everything out and start building the base all right so we've got the materials to craft up one of these guys now i'll just show you guys the amount of storage space if you haven't seen it already it is kind of ridiculous so we're going to come over here and this is where we're moving everything to just for now but look at the size of all that it's it's a lot of space so i'm uh, just gonna be moving the rest of the stuff over we might need to make a third one which isn't isn't a problem we can go ahead and make that uh and then all of this if you guys are like wow he did so much mining off camera no i didn't really do all that much mining off camera it's really just the power of the flux bore because it mines in a three by three and you can just start mining away we only have efficiency one on it so i imagine efficiency five and holding where we can get more power into it it's just going to be ridiculous and with all of this glass being finished up we can go ahead and make our second diamond chest put it over here so now i'm going to start the long process of moving everything over i think i'm gonna do it in a little bit of a time lapse for you guys Thank you. 
All right, guys, check it out. So we have everything cleared out in here other than my bed, which is pretty cool. So we can go ahead here and um, start to kind of tear down this whole little village because we're going to be doing um, very similar style houses, you know, the kind of the Mesa style buildings. But I think we're going to go ahead and make these look a lot cooler. They're going to be a lot bigger and much more detailed. And the first one we're going to start off is with is with our base. And we're going to clear out this whole area here, and including this. And it's going to kind of go right back in here. I'm going to need to do a little bit of terraforming with some dirt and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to put it right here. So it's going to be at the far back. And then we're going to put little other buildings around the village here. So it's going to look really good. Thank you. 
all right dudes and dudettes our new base has been built and i freaking like it i don't have a name for it um i don't really know what we're gonna call it but yes guys i've already moved in as you can see here uh we're gonna be working on the the ore processing for the rest of the video here very cool i know i'm i'm, I'm liking it it's very cozy very cozy in here very uh not in the open uh and then we have a second floor over here um yes where my bed's at where my my cool husk trophy that i got from killing a bunch of husks around yeah so this is the base uh, we're gonna have a bunch of these different uh style buildings all across here so it'll be like like a little village it's gonna be sweet but let's go ahead and work on the thermal side of this getting the the thermal stuff like this uh or duplication not really duplication but processing all right so let's go ahead get into this here so the pulverizer what this does from thermal uh series is this will kind of smash the items up like the ores that we want it will smash them up into uh dust which will give us more yield because you take one dust instead of two ore and you um you can smell both of those down so let's get to iron All right, so as you can see here, iron ore, you smash it down into iron dust. We get a 10% chance of nickel with it as well. And then you also get gravel with a 20% chance. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And the cool thing is this iron dust, if we look here, you can smelt one iron dust into one iron uh, ingot. So you basically get two iron ingots from one iron ore. So that's the, the goal of today. Um, so let's go ahead here. We have almost everything we need. I believe I should be able to craft these two up. Yep, sure can. Perfect. All right, and what do we miss now? Just a piston. Very cool. We need four cobble. All right, now we can craft up the piston here. Bam. And then we'll craft up this guy. Bam. And there we go. Pulverizer. Very cool. All right, so we're actually going to reuse this redstone furnace just for now. Um... So let's get this thing working. Um, we need to kind of design it. So the pulverizer is going to go right here. Going to need the power cell like so. Um, and then how are we going to power this? Not too sure. Because I want it to be like that. So chest here, chest here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those chests real quick. All right, we'll go ahead and upgrade these to diamonds in just a little bit. Perfect, as you can see, we got them. All right, now we need to find a way to move items. All right, let's see if Refined Pipes has fixed their crap. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this working. The reason I say that is because in the past I have tried to use um, Refined Pipes and they have been absolute garbage. So we're just gonna test it out because they, they have gotten another update since I've used it. So we're gonna see if they're any better. If not, I'm gonna be a kind of, not upset, but uh, disappointed is the word. You know that word? All right, so we don't need more than 12. All right, we need another piston. All right, we got a total of three. Perfect, that's what we needed. Oh, we're out of iron though to make those. Just kidding, we have the iron to make them. All right, so these are extractors. Okay, so we're going to see if these things have improved at all. I've got a feeling they haven't, but we're going to give them a shot. All right, so the way it works is you just select this here, and then if we were to say um, input, does that, that doesn't freaking connect. Oh, it connected there. Okay, 
and then output maybe like so and then we can bring it okay wait a sec All right, bam, like this. And then we're, I, I don't think we need to do this, but we're gonna do it. So click, click. Okay, so we do need to set it for it. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe this works. Um, yeah. Yeah, with a question mark, maybe it works. <laughs> um, okay, so getting power into this thing is still gonna be kind of tricky. Um, I think the best bet is we need to make up one more of those guys. We should have enough iron for it. Um, yeah, we actually have just enough iron for it. So let's make up one more piston. And one more of these guys. All right, we're gonna use a barrel. Where is you, barrel? Yep, just like so. This is gonna be our fuel input. Uh, we need to place this here like so. Yep. Okay, now I don't know, this is a, well, I don't know if this is gonna work. I really hope it does, because this will make it look really clean. So the barrel, well for one, barrel goes here like so. All right, Um, this might work. Okay, let's test it out. So if we go ahead, I don't I don't think I have any coal, but we can take some spruce logs. We put the spruce logs in here. Oh, it works, guys. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot cleaner than I was anticipating. That's it, it's done. So we have it go from this chest into the pulverizer, gets pulverized, gets pushed out into this cable, this pipe, gets pushed into here, right? And gets pushed out the bottom and into this chest. And then whenever we need to get some more power, we just go ahead and throw it into here. Very cool, it looks really clean, doesn't look stupid or bulky, amazing. All right, we've got some nickel ore here. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in. And let's see here. Yep, as you can see, it goes in. I I don't know what this is for. Let's take a look here. Um, not too sure. Maybe it gives you a higher percentage when you put the flint in. Um, Okay, regardless, um, the, oh, gravel. Okay, so that's getting put into there, but what do we do with the gravel? Um, we might need to put an augmentation to nullify the extra item. Um, let's see here. Okay, unfortunately it doesn't look like we can negate this, so I don't think it'll limit us from putting more ores into here. Uh, we can always take a look here with that. Let's see. Yeah, so just to let us go, we'll just have to go ahead and go through here and clear this out every once in a while, which is kind of unfortunate, or we could always put another um, like filter or chest here, but the problem is, is say we have a bunch of these different ores lined up. Once it's done with um, these ores, right, it's gonna put all of the dust over here, and we still have to wait for the dust to be processed, and it's gonna start 
you know, breaking down the next ore. Now, because it doesn't have anywhere for it to go in here, it's just going to go through and go into the next chest. So we actually can't do that. Um, the best way to do it, honestly, would probably be to replace the, the pulverizer with something else. Um, I don't know what we can place with. If you guys know a way to negate that secondary output, please do let me know. But none of these augments here allow you to do that. I do know you were able to in the past, but it doesn't look you can now. All right, guys. So that's actually going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. That's...